morning. Need a cup of coffee. <sighs> I think I need a big cup of coffee. So, I've posted a tweet or two about wearing masks. And I'll get, you know, seven responses of, oh, that's great. And then I get one, one response that says, you're not using your brain. How dare you force your dress code on me? Um, you just believe everything you see on TV. I don't, we actually, we watch YouTube mostly. We don't watch the TV, which I don't think is, that's worse. Anyway. So it struck me that, um, let me turn the toast off. It struck me that there is a very large percentage of the population who is anti-mask or who just doesn't believe in it, understand it. And, and so I've been thinking about that and I can see where they're coming from. I, I get that it's hard when you don't, you don't, have anybody you don't know anybody who's gotten COVID it just seems ridiculous it seems like you know you you can walk and it's hard because you're sitting there going I walked around all day without a mask and I didn't get COVID so it's safe it's fine and I and I find myself slipping into it too in that I'm like well I ran into the store for a minute and nothing bad happened to me so it's it's probably perfectly safe and, and unfortunately, I think that it's a certain amount of empathy that you're sitting there going, I didn't have trouble finding a job, so I don't understand why it's, it's people are complaining about not finding jobs or, or I've never had any trouble with the police. The police have always been perfectly nice to me. I don't, I don't believe that, you know, people have police brutality and stuff. It's, it's hard when it hasn't happened to you to understand that it has happened to other people. And, and then it's also hard when somebody tells you that something exists, this, there's a truth. And again, it hasn't happened to you. You have, don't have any experience with it. It's like, cause we have all this stuff that we're told and we're just like, okay, I, I'm told that this is the truth. I'm told that this is how things work. I'll just take it at face value. Um, we, we look at the horizon and it looks flat and we're told that we live on a globe. And I can see why there are certain people who are like, that doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't believe that because I can't, it doesn't affect me. I don't feel like, you know, I can't prove it myself. So I can see the anti-maskers and I can see the COVID deniers of, I can't see it. I, it doesn't affect me, so I don't believe in it. And it's hard when, you know, there's scientists who go, no, we're sitting on a ball that's spinning in outer space and we're spinning around the sun. And I can see why people are going, I have a hard time believing that because I don't, I can't experience it myself. But trust me, it's true. <laughs> We can, there are people who are getting sick from COVID. There, there are people who, oh, this is a very large cup. Um, my my father-in-law survived it. He's, he's not who he was before. He's, he's never gonna recover fully. Um, there, there are, people who are relatively healthy who got it, who are still, there was a guy I talked to who got it in March and he's still exhausted. He's, you know, it takes a chunk out of you. Um, so it's hard to wear the mask all the time because I, you know, you wear the mask when you walk by somebody, you wear the mask when, you know, you I went, went to see a friend who hadn't seen anybody for six months. Uh, and we stayed in the, you know, her back driveway and six feet apart and hung out with masks on. Um, so you can, 
you can go hang out with people outside and you do things a little differently because this is going to go on for a while anyway so I wanted so I wanted to say I can I can see where you're coming from anti-maskers and COVID deniers I can see that nobody in your community is affected by it it's hard to grasp that this is something that we all have to do and it is uncomfortable and it is an inconvenience um, but and it's and it's not going to affect you you're perfectly healthy you're going to survive it's fine it's that you're going to give it to somebody else and you're going to kill somebody else that's that's the hard part and that's really hard to grab it's hard to come to, to grips with that your inaction your actions can have a big effect on other people and and could probably kill some people so we've we've got to just trust the scientists and go all right uh, sure the earth is round I believe you um, yeah I don't know if that's the greatest analogy because okay. we don't have to do anything about it it's not like we have to nail anything down it's fine all right well that was my ramble Ah, coffee. How are you doing? <laughs> Let me just stir that pot early in the morning. Oh, oh. I'm on the West Coast, so afternoon for you guys. You're making cookies? Yeah. Yes, what kind of cookies? Brown cookies? Yeah. It's a good cookie. Yeah, we're gonna go make some brown cookies. You guys have fun. Take care. Wash your hands, wear your masks. Enjoy the sunrise as we spin around the sun. <laughs>